For our 2009 field experience, we used our Penn State blimp to carry a video camera above the site at the Moland House. We wanted our students to be able to see the site, not just from the ground level, but in plan. As OGS Crawford, the great archaeologist, said, to see things in plan, to see things that you can't see on the surface, for example, structures, remains of structures that might have been there at one time, which are now no longer visible from the surface, but could be visible from the air by discolorations in the soil below. first thing the students had to get used to was getting up very early in the morning because only then will you get the winds, the very light winds that you need to keep this blimp, a small blimp like this, steady to get steady footage from the air. And on the second day, we got there very early, the winds were very light, and we got nice steady footage of the site. I wasn't aware how much of a factor even very mild wind would be with trying to maneuver the blimp and, and get our accurate footage. Volar el blimp no fue difícil para nada, pero durante la segunda hora de vuelo, un poco de viento lo hizo mucho más difícil y difícil de controlar. Когда мы спускали воздушный шар, это было немножко как запускать воздушный змей в том, что надо было с помощью веревки контролировать его. Но веревку надо было держать очень сильно, чтобы тот же самый контроль иметь над шаром. Once we knew we had steady footage of the ground, then it was up to the students to look at this to see if there was any data that could be read out of the ground from the sky. My hypothesis is that the demarcations might be the fence where they, might, where they kept animals uh, ready to be slaughtered for food. My thoughts on that would be that this is some kind of possibly a corral in which animals were kept prior to butchering and cooking in the summer kitchen. I think the markings we saw when we examined the blimp footage could possibly be from a fence, the outline of a pool, or maybe even a path. It seems clear that the blimp has picked up discolorations in the soil by the summer kitchen. Future excavations might reveal here at the Boland House which of the students' hypotheses, corral, fence, pool, which of these might be correct.